Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 29 of our Feed the Beast Let's Play series. So, I've been doing a little bit of work since this episode and the last one, I made myself a hammer. Put redstone and redstone flux on it. Pretty cool, right? And redstone flux allows me to power it with, um, uh, basically it allows me to power it with the power of thermal expansion redstone flux. You just put a, actually, I'll tell you what I put on, I made a hardened energy cell. I apologise for not showing it, but my recording kind of doped out and I couldn't show you the footage. So I'll be right back and I'll show you how the hammer works. Okay guys, so when you strip mine, it's a real pain having to strip mine like this, right? Where you're just constantly digging down in a one by one area. Now what the hammer likes to do is dig in a 3x3 three three area so as you can see strip miners this is gonna be an absolute dream come true when you see what this mod is capable of well maybe not a dream come true but if you, if you, if you just play vanilla all the time and you don't actually get a chance to look at these mods I definitely recommend you do as as you can see strip mining is made so much easier. It can't do gravel though. There's actually another tool called an excavator which you use to strip mine. Well, not strip mine, but um, that's what you use dirt on. Alright, so I'm just gonna break my way down here. And I want to get to about why maybe about 10 as that's where we're going to be able to find a good few minerals but I can see it's really easy eating through my hammer's durability just you know mining 3x3 three three areas but it is pretty quick which is the thing and considering I'm mining in a 3x3 three three, it does go really really quick so I've heard about why sort of 8 to 10 well actually no 6 to 10 is quite good for finding things like diamonds so redstone a little bit higher Ooh, I've got to find some lapis. That'll be helpful. Especially with this fortune pick. There we go, I'm just gonna patch that up. And I'm gonna continue down. Any ore that really takes my like catches my eye like that, I'm gonna definitely gonna get. But some like really basic ores that I have like a ton of, I'm not really gonna get. So I think I'm gonna stick around at this wire level. I think if I just maybe mine like this, that this is my best shot of doing it. Or having success, I should say. As you can see, I found some gold. So yeah, strip mining in 3 by 3s which a lot of people do, has it, literally never been easier with this. Your only issue is finding dirt. And you'll need an excavator for that. I think I might either make this this episode or next episode. Alright, so let's, let's keep going. And it's a pretty good way to find caves too. I found, on a few of my other worlds, I found so many caves using a hammer. Like this mining 3x3s. Three so it's sort of an alternative to using quarries doing this. Whilst this is more manual, but it's. I wouldn't say it's that early game, but it's moderately early game. You could, like you could do this, and maybe once you've got yourself set up a little bit with some resources, you can definitely do this, and it'll give you a huge head start. Well, a huge way to get those minerals out of the ground quicker, especially if you're playing on mass multiplayer servers, because we all know multiplayer servers—they're a bit of a pain sometimes when all the caves are explored and stuff like that's happened, and you get. You know, it can be quite frustrating when you're playing the game. So definitely this is a great alternative to manual mining, like cave mining, strip mining. Because look, I can just find ores so quickly, to the point where my inventory is full of just cobblestone. So I think I need, I need a digger's backpack to actually um, prevent me from picking up just cobblestone. The thing is though, it continually follows me around, which is another thing of the ring of magnetization that I'm going to be constantly followed around by items that I pick up. 
you know, I think if this is willing to follow me, are you going to follow me? Yeah, they are. I'm just going to go and dump this in my A system. Yep, they're still here. I think I'm going to make this a little bit easier to get up and down, because it's a little bit of a pain. And we're going to dump this in my A system. Okay, here we go. So guys, when you see me mining, I've got lots of resources in my A system that I do from the episodes. This is probably the reason why, because I've just gone and just completely devastated the earth with my plum hammer. But definitely, when you go in mining, make sure it has full, full durability, or you really are going to be hating life. So, I uh, will be back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, I want to point out, this is going to be your really only problem when you're mining this alone, is lava lakes. They can be a bit of a pain, so what I like to do is just sort of go around it, go around the actual uh, lake. Oh, some dark iron ore. I don't really know what you do with dark iron ore, though. I, I know it's factorization related, but I'm not entirely sure what you do with it. Ooh, it's quite a bit, quite a big vein of it here. Oh, there's a lot of dark iron ore. Ooh, some coal too. Might as well snag a little bit of this. I mean, if it's there, why, why, you know, not get it? So I hammer that out. One, two. Okay, so I need to go two blocks in. Oh, that's full of lava. Not the best idea. Right, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, and there's more lava. Right, I'm gonna go this way again. Oh, I'm burning. That's pretty bad. Oh, whoa, that's a pretty big lava lake, guys. So I think I'm gonna have to go in a slightly different direction. I think I'm gonna go in this direction. And I'll break back once I've done a little bit more mining. And also, guys, I want to point out, you're probably thinking, have I gone and charged my hammer or something? It's a full durability. No, I haven't. The thing, if he, if it runs out of RF, as you can see, it's now eating into the durability of it. The effective durability is what it has. So it has 3,000 durability, looking at this, on the redstone flux. And it has a, but it also has its main durability that we put on initially. So you have to bear that in mind that it provides a bit more of a buffer to it. Basically, I mean, I could have added auto repair, but I mean, this is way cooler, right? Being able to charge your hammer. So if I put it in the charger. There you go. Its durability down to zero. Because we'll be using its durability instead of. Why am I trying to do that? We're using its durability instead of trying to use its power to charge. So 5,000 cobblestone, we've actually got quite a lot of minerals now. If I look at ore, yeah, we've got quite a bit of ore. In fact, how much, where's our conduit? Let's get one of these. And I think, guys, I want to make another lava, some more lava generators. Because we still can't handle our own ender quarry as it is, so I think I need to make a couple more of these, but I don't know how much gold we have, and yeah, we're a little bit low on, on the old gold. I'm going to put it in the sag mill, let that get cooking up, so I think, yeah, we might have to pass on the lava generator idea. My shovel did break when I was down there, but I think I'm going to make another one. Maybe a Tinker's one? I don't know. And if it is Tinker's one, what are we going to make it out of? I'm going to cobalt again. It is a pretty good material, so I think cobalt maybe. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to make it out of cobalt. I'm going to get the required materials, guys, and I will again be right back. Okay, guys. I've made it ten redstone blocks, and I'm now adding redstone to my shovel. I'm also going to add auto repair. 
Cool. So I the last tool I can make is an axe. Now there's two types of axes. Hatchets, but I want to test how quick the shovel is. Whoa. That's a pretty overpowered shovel if you ask me guys. If anything that's too quick. Wow. That is a pretty quick shovel, to say the least. But definitely a good one. Ooh, not, I thought we'd like run out of space in our AE system then. So, we've got a shovel, now we can make an axe. But axes, we can have lumber axes and hatchets. Lumber axes, lumber trees down very, very quickly. I think they, for a hatchet, but let me just get some cobblestone in real quick. I'm also going to... I believe a broad axe head is three materials. So we need a broad axe head. We need a small one and a broad one. I believe the broad one is... that one. Oh, material cost is eight. How much cobalt do we have? Oh, I don't quite have enough cobalt. Okay guys, we'll be right back. I think I'm going to have to go and get some cobalt. Okay guys, I just thought you'd want to see this, but I'm now making my... I'm making the components, I should say, to make my lumber axe and also my uh, hatchet, which are... They're both axes, but they're both sort of made for different things. So I just need to put these guys on here. Nearly done, maybe? No? Put that in there. There you go, it's solidified. And now I'm just going go to go, go back over to base. And now let's put them together. So let's put the lumber axe first. And the lumber axe is the broad axe, that, that, and that. And I'm going to call it the plum axe one. And this is just, you know, your, your pretty much basic lumber axe. It can chop down any tree from the bottom and then. Yeah, that's basically its purpose. It can chop down entire trees and capitate them. Which is pretty cool. But then there's the other version, which is the slightly smaller one, and that is this this little guy. Which is the hatchets. There you go. I'm also gonna cut the the hatchets. Hatchet trees. What a name. <laughs> and this guy deals with leaves, as you can see. He can... He doesn't, he doesn't collect leaves, he just breaks them really, really quickly. He also can do wood pretty quickly as well. And this is without modifiers, by the way, guys. It's just the fact that I've made them out of pretty strong materials that they are very, very, very good. I think this is a good point to wrap up the episode, guys. We've definitely made some progress this episode with our tools, we now have you know, improved tools, we've made a hammer, we've made a ton of different stuff, which is absolutely amazing guys, I'm really happy that you've made this much progress this episode, and am I sensing that we've run out of storage space on the drive? Yes we have. I'll have to make one of those next episode, but thank you for watching, and take it easy!